Like out of all your work, like many, many years of career, like which is your most challenging, difficult project? I would say um, it, it, it's very often the challenges are sort of the things you can't control, like mm -hmm. like the weather, for instance, okay. or the, you know, the temperature, or you know, I, I tend to work a lot on location, mm -hmm. and so you know that means you know I want big dramatic scenes yeah. and you know mountains and cityscapes, and um, you know that will mean sometimes that you know. Uh, you get situations which you know are beyond your control. Yeah. And funnily enough, one of the um, uh, most difficult shoots I ever did was the Chinese opera singer Li Ping Zhang. Okay, wow. And I went to photograph her near the uh, quite near the Mongolian border, on uh, you know towards the end of the Great Wall of China. Okay. And I picked the location uh, on the basis that you know there was a beautiful range of mountains and you could see all these mountains and it was beautiful. You know, it was really really spectacular location. Yeah. And it was March, and they said, you know, the weather will be fine. And, you know, as you can imagine, yeah. opera singers yeah. don't really like hanging yeah. around in the yeah. cold because it's not good for their voice. Yeah. And we get there, and it was a snowstorm, you know, and you just couldn't see anything. And, you know, I had an assistant with me in a little jacket and wow. Converse shoes, you know, yeah. not dressed for the weather. And the snow was so bad, we couldn't even drive to the set. So um, we had to hire a camel to take her to set. A which camel? Is not something I've ever had to do before. Wow. And, and yeah. uh, she was brilliant because she just got on this camel and, you know, didn't make it fast. And I was like, look, you know, we've got this van and everything that, but, you know, we can't use it because the snow's so deep. And I remember in that situation, you know, you, you can often think, you know, you panic a little bit and think, yeah. oh, I'm not going to get anything. This isn't what I planned. I'm not going to get the shot. Yeah. And uh, it, it funnily, it, this was a campaign for the Royal Opera House using, okay. you know, the best. I remember um, those, yeah. Using the best opera singers and ballet Beautiful. dancers all around the world. Yeah. And, um, it's, it turned out to be one of my favorite shots from really? the campaign. Yeah. So, wow. you know, you should never despair. You have to always say, you know, try and turn the negative into a positive. That's right. That's right. And I almost feel like you need to have like a, almost like a, a documentary team following you, you know, to document all the behind the scenes stuff. Because I feel like people are very interested to see that kind of stuff. Like people don't see, right? They only right. see the beautiful image perfect you know but uh, they don't know how much trouble and how difficult it is to get this kind of image so that's definitely true and also i think that now you know especially with computers people tend to think oh so what did you do did you just shoot them in a comfortable studio and then you know yeah. retouch it all together and you know that campaign particularly you know we really did go to all those places and it was all done in camera yeah and you know because i grew up uh using film on big plate cameras you know yeah before Photoshop existed, you know, I'm, I'm old enough that, you know, Photoshop didn't <laughs> exist and you couldn't do everything digitally. Yeah. And so, you know, I learned you had to get it right in camera, you had to light it right, you had to go there and, you know, you had to put up with the weather and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And I think that's, I, you know, I don't regret that. I think that's been an important part of my, my training, if you like, you know, the craft of what it. I do. Yeah.